I didn't want to be a rock star, and I didn't want to be a movie star. No pictures, please. I want to be a health-based culinary expert, a cook star, and so can you. Hi, I'm Remy. Today on Cook Time with Remy, we're gonna prep and cook one of my most refreshing dishes called pineapple salsa. Okay, first things first. The number one rule on Cook Time with Remy is that you always check with your parents or an adult before you start cooking. Next, it's very important to wash your hands before you start cooking. Okay, let's get started. Today, we're making pineapple salsa. I love pineapple salsa because it tastes great and it's really good for you. The next thing we need to do is get our cooking pots, pans, and bowls. We'll also need to have the ingredients used to make pineapple salsa. For this dish, you'll need to have pineapples, limes, garlic, onions, some cilantro, a little bit of some jalapeno, ginger, green bell peppers, some honey, baked corn chips, and of course, you have your salt and pepper. Did you know that one third of the world's pineapples come from Hawaii? Pineapple is one of the world's favorite tropical fruits. Aloha. Now, let's make our pineapple salsa. First up, we're going to mix our pineapple, then some onions, and we have a little bit of some garlic too. Next up, we have a little bit of some spiciness to go with the sweetness from the pineapple. Add some jalapenos here. Don't add too much, and they're mint very small so you don't burn your mouth off. Next up, we have some lime zest, ginger. Mmm, it smells great. I know this dish smells Awesome, I wish you were here. Then we are going to add our green bell peppers. And last but not least, we have our cilantro. Mm, smells awesome. Save some for later. Now we're going to mix this up a little bit. So we want to mix all of our dry ingredients first. It just makes it easier to mix. Now we're going to add our wet ingredients. A little bit of some lime juice. Move that over there. And remember, you always want to serve any kind of dressing or sauce right before you serve it, so that way your dish does not get soggy. And then we have some honey. Some more sweetness to the dish. It's a bit sticky too. Next, we have some salt and pepper. I'm going to serve this one last time. I want to fold it, and basically so that way it gets all the ingredients all the flavors combined, so it tastes great. Now let's plate. I'm going to put some salsa into our little bowl here. And there. I'm going to set that aside. Now let's add our chips. There. And then you have your pineapple salsa with corn chips. When you're cooking, it's always very important to make sure your ingredients measurements are right. The cooking ingredients you use should always be as fresh as possible so your food tastes the best. Remember the cook time rule? You should always have all five food groups when eating at each meal. Cooking is fun and the food you make should taste good and be healthy for you. Now let's try this yummy smelling thing. Good chip. Mmm, this is awesome. I'm helping you. This dish has the perfect combination of sweet and spicy. You have to try this. Thanks for hanging out with me on Cook Time with Remy. See you next time when we'll be making lentil salad with pasta. Bye. All kids should lead a healthy, active, and nutritious life. And we all play a role educating young people about healthy choices, including the 16 million children at risk of hunger in the US. Join me and Sodexo to help raise awareness about the one in five kids who are at risk of hunger by visiting an online youth action center at www.nokidhungry2.org. Cud nuggets. Okay. Hawaii. It's good at cooking. Mm. One third. It's always very important to make. <coughs> the world's pineapples comes come from come come come. Okay.